Joining me now, Communications Director at Power the Future, Larry Behrens. Thanks so much for being with us today, Larry. It's great to have you. Great to talk with you, Allison. So, Larry, I can't say I'm really surprised here, but is this ethically right? Radical leftists using pay-to-play tactics to advance their climate agenda? Well, it depends who you ask. Obviously, if you ask these journalists, they'll say yes, because if they, you know, wink, disclose it to you, then that story and every other story is okay because they expect you to remember that that one time they disclosed it to you. But you're absolutely right. It doesn't pass the sniff test at all. I mean, money comes with strings attached, and it is no different for people who call themselves journalists. And I would argue as well, it just makes it convenient for those journalists who really want to be activists to be openly activists about what they are going to do to push the agenda that they want and, you know, make a little money on the side. Yeah, I think you're you're definitely right about that. Uh, there's definitely something to be said about the activists uh, who are in favor of it. But then there's people like Arnold Schwarzenegger, former governor of California, bodybuilder actor, who's saying that uh, the climate agenda is basically BS. He actually what he said, quote, as long as they keep talking about global climate change, they're not going to go anywhere because no one gives an S about that. What do you make of this, Larry? I've got to say, I'm actually a little surprised um, after Arnold told every vaccine skeptic and anti-masker to screw your freedom. But is he right about this one? Uh, you know, it's interesting that he thinks that it's a branding issue. You have the Biden administration reaching in to get your you know, gas lawnmower, gas car, gas stove, uh, gas air conditioner, anything that uses fossil fuels in your house, in any room of your house that they want to grab their hands onto. And if, uh, you know, former Governor Schwarzenegger feels that the branding name is the real problem, well, that's his prerogative, I guess. But the American people feel that it is the agenda that is driving up the prices, trying to reach into every facet of their life. That is the real problem. It doesn't matter what you want to call it, whatever happy name you want to call it. It is something that is bringing harm to hardworking Americans, and they don't really care what the name is because they see the results are just terrible. Yeah, definitely true. Now, uh, a couple of people that do care about the climate crisis are obviously the Democrats. And now the Biden administration is moving forward with plans to lease areas in the Gulf of Mexico for wind energy development. Uh, Larry, is this really what's needed here? And are there any measures being taken to address the negative potential impacts that could result from this. Uh, yes, it's absolutely what's needed. If you're Joe Biden and you need campaign cash, for the rest of us, it is going to be more expensive, uh, more intermittent, a more unreliable energy. And so Joe Biden needs it because he wants his campaign coffers flush with that green. But for the rest of us, we see that the Biden administration, who put a moratorium on drilling in the Gulf as long as it was for oil and natural gas, is more than happy to kill as many whales as need be, to kill as many birds as need be, as long as his buddy get to put whatever they want in the Gulf Shore waters. And oh, by the way, just as long as it's not, you know, off his beach house, so he doesn't have to look at it as well. It is a raging hypocrisy because, you know, again, if it's big oil, the left freaks out. But when it is big green, funding campaigns, funding media and funding those windmills that really don't do anything to help our power. Well, then Joe Biden is more than happy with it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. As you mentioned, liberal hypocrisy at its finest. Now, in other news, it appears the mainstream media uh, is now laying the groundwork potentially for the next false flag event. Let's go ahead and watch. Should a transformer explode like this one in Manhattan during Superstorm Sandy, the system is designed to trigger a localized grid-preserving blackout. But if several sections of the grid go down at the same time, the shutdowns can cascade like dominoes. So, Larry, it's actually not just CBS, but multiple mainstream outlets are now warning that the U.S. power grid is at risk of attack. Uh, what do you make of this? Should we actually be concerned that this will move forward and happen? It is amazing to see the Biden administration all of a sudden feign outrage over things that were happening all the time because of their policies. That is the lights going out. California had blackouts. Texas had a terrible blackout during the winter of 2021. And yet they didn't really care because it was their policies that were at the center of it. But now to really be concerned about the lights staying on, if they were really concerned, they wouldn't be sending $369 billion in the laughably named Infrastructure uh, Inflation Reduction Act 
to green energy. They would be using that to boost up security for our own power grid. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.